Today, I wanna to share with you a common trap within self-inquiry. So a common mistake that you're likely to run into while practicing. I have a question here that was left on one of my previous YouTube videos uh, on the pointer that I gave on watching the eye. Okay, so let me read out the question and then we'll get into it. And hopefully after today's video, you'll never sort of fall again for this mental trap. So the question is, Sunny, how do I know if I'm watching I or if I'm watching the watcher of I? To clarify, how do I know I'm at the deepest I and whether I'm resting with that I? That's not watching any emotion, thought, etc. So right off the bat, you can tell that the question is very mindy. You see, like mind will throw all these subtle webs of confusion and then we really do get caught in them and we start because we start entertaining them now you know we're all over the place so again how do i know if i'm watching i or if i'm watching the watcher of i for questions like this and any time in inquiry it is only necessary to look directly in your experience and acknowledge that there is only one self. When we say I, what we're referring to is self. And in your direct experience, please see right now, there is only one you. There's only one you that is aware of the sound of my voice. The sounds in your environment. The the, the video, the visual, my face. And also the same self that is aware of the sound of my voice is the same self that is also aware of the thoughts that you're having right now, which are perhaps interpretations of what I am saying, judgments on what I am saying, or what you can get from what I am saying or how it, what I am saying compares to something you heard in the past. Just clearly see in your experience, are there two selves or is there only one self? Me, I. So see the question, how do I know if I'm watching I or if I'm watching the watcher of I? It's, it's implying different eyes. That the one eye that I take myself to be, the one eye that I am, the one eye that I uh, hopefully am not mistaking myself, like too many, too many things going on. Let's bring it back to utter simplicity. See that at, at the heart of your experience, there's only one self, one eye that is aware. In this moment, When you are free of thought, there is no, not even a question of another I. Because only thought arises and starts speaking as if what I am is this body, is personal. So the self is now the personal self. Okay, you can call that your extension. But here and now, the same self right now, the same I that is hearing my words is the same I, the same self that is aware of those thoughts which claim a personal self. Even when there seems to be the appearance of a personal self, me thinking and feeling and doing as a body, still, there are not two selves. There is only one self, which you are ever shining, in whose seeing the personal self, the body, the mind, the doing, is appearing. So when I say watch the sense I, I'm not referring to any object in your experience. 
watching the eye does not entail being aware of a thought, being aware of a sensation, or being aware of an emotion, or being aware of a physical object, or being aware of the body. It entails being aware of yourself, being aware of being aware. That is your true identity, your sense of identity, of who I am, of what I am. You have to be aware of yourself, free from thoughts about yourself, free from associating yourself with any image or any thought or any sensation or any feeling. See that when you are aware of yourself, when you are aware of the sense of I am, you cannot really say anything about that. You cannot really describe that in any way accurately because there's no content there to judge, to describe, to interpret. There's just the sense of being. It's just existence, awareness, knowledge not a mental knowledge not words but a wordless knowing that is at the heart of your experience the only self so even when this sort of confusion arises in mind that oh how do i know if i'm resting with the right eye or um am i if I'm watching I or I'm watching the watcher of eyes, just just see this simply as a, a thought arising to whom? The only self in your experience, you. So who are you that watches? What are you that is aware? That is ultimately of greater importance. And she also said, how do I, so to clarify, how do I know I'm at the deepest I, right? And, and whether I'm resting as like the personal I or at the, the deepest I, there again is only one I, one sense of self. Okay, so don't worry about this too much. Don't think about this. Don't try to figure out, oh, am I the right eye or the not? Like, just, just come back to your fact of existence. You see, you don't have to find the eye. You just have to like, notice that at the heart of your experience right now is I am aware. I am alive. I am. It's just a sense of existence, sense of being, n- knowing, On this, your entire experience, your entire life depends. Without this existence, without this sense of knowing, being aware, what are thoughts? What are emotions? What are your family? What are your goals? What is the world? All these appear in this knowing. All of these are appearances in existence don't take them to be real while totally neglecting the formless self that you are so watching the i is really just returning to the essence of your experience the source of it by learning to bring under your conscious noticing that which does not appear in awareness, but is the knowing essence itself in which all that you see, hear, touch, taste, smell appears along with your inter- what you call your internal world, the thoughts and emotions, which aren't sensed by the body, but they are still within this same knowing 
the same self, seeing, being, and you are that. You are not going to that. Only your associations, the things you believe are this I, the things you believe that, that you attribute to this knowing, to this awareness, are being shut off. They're being seen as, oh, no, these are appearances, not the self. You see? So anytime these sorts of confusions arise and they're trying to, you know, some sort of like describing or, or, or you know, they get, it, uh, the mind gets scared, the mind gets confused and it ropes you into all of these webs, just come back to the very fact of knowing. There's an, even, even these concerns, there's an awareness of them and there's only one awareness of them. It's not, you know, there's no multiple awarenesses in your experience. You are aware. As what are you aware? See, that is the fundamental question. Who am I? Got it? So I hope this video helped you. Um, if you do have any further questions, you can feel free to join my uh, Facebook group. It is completely free, and here, there you can interact with me and the rest of our community and gain insight on your questions. You can also share your own insights and help others. It's a beautiful community. Along with that, I also have some free resources for you on my website. I have a free self-inquiry mini course that is going to be of an immense value to you if you haven't seen it yet, along with some other resources, classes, and also meditations. So maybe uh, take a look at that at the description box below. Other than that, I hope this video again was of great value to you. I will see you next time.